welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host Larry and today I'm going to show you how to add the Battle.net launcher to your Steam library so you can launch it through the library and get access to Steam's third-party controller drivers so you can use your Switch Pro controller to play whatever game you want to play from Blizzard's launcher. So the first thing we need to do today is we need to connect our Pro Controller to the PC via Bluetooth. You can't really plug this in despite there being a plug on it. It doesn't really want to behave itself. So when you grab the controller, there is a button on the top near the plug that you want to press and hold. And the light on the other side of it may or may not light up. But just hold that for a count of, I don't know, six, eight seconds, something like that. And then once you've done that, go ahead and with your Bluetooth and other devices window open for your Windows computer settings, click on the add Bluetooth or other device at the top and then click on Bluetooth in this little pop up. And you should see your pro controller here at the top. Go ahead and click on that. And then that should pair, make like a beeping sound, and be listed here in your connected devices. Now, this won't light up. There should be a little blue light around the home button that turns solid blue and stays lit once it's connected and properly working. But that won't light up until you've launched a game. So we're just going to minimize this. And the next thing that we need to do is we need to add the Battle.net launcher to our Steam library as a third party uh, app. You can add literally any software from your computer to your Steam library and launch it through Steam. And that just allows Steam to manage it and use your, the Steam overlay and also the drivers for your controller. And if you want to see if your controller is properly connected, you can go to Steam, you can go to settings. And then over here on the sidebar at the bottom, there's a controller panel. And it should tell you that your Nintendo Switch Pro controller is connected here at the top. And then you can enable Game Rumble. And then you can tell it to use Nintendo button layout, although this only works some of the time. Because if every game could display Nintendo buttons dynamically like this, it would mean that they already have Nintendo controller support, which they don't. Um, and if you're having issues with your controller acting like a mouse and keyboard, you can go down to desktop layout. And then you can go from official layout for desktop configuration, and you can select disabled instead which will fix that problem. So there you have it. So what we're going to do now is add the Battle.net launcher to our Steam library. Make sure it's completely turned off and you've exited out of it. It's not on and running in the background somewhere. And go up to Games at the top of the Steam window here next to Help. Click on Games and then add a non-Steam game to my library. This will give you a big list of everything that's installed on your computer. I'm just going to look up Battle and select Battle.net and then add selected program. So Battle.net's not going to have any information on the game page because this was not downloaded using Steam. It's just what happens when you add a third party uh, program to Steam. But it doesn't matter. We're just going to click play and that will launch the Battle.net app directly so that we can log in. So once you're logged in to Battle.net and you're ready to play whatever game, in this case, I'm going to show you Overwatch just so you can see that the buttons work. This will also work with PlayStation controllers. Any controller that Steam can support will work for this. So if you want to use your Switch controller, your PlayStation controller, your weird third party controller, all of that should work fine using this method. Oh, there's like a cutscene. Cool. But anyway, you can see that my controls work. I'm currently moving around with my Nintendo Pro controller. And you can tell that it's properly detecting that there's a game and everything because the blue ring around the home button is all nice and lit up and fancy. So that's it. That's all you got to do to get your Nintendo Switch Pro controller 
hooked up and working to play games on Battle.net using this controller rather than an Xbox controller. Unfortunately, it will still display Xbox buttons. That's just something you're going to have to deal with. Maybe print out like a picture of an Xbox controller so you know what you're working with until you get used to it. So that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you next time. I hope this has been helpful, and have a good one. Bye.